Hi, my love's beautiful soul, Mr. Cross, love, 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 back to, back to the truth, bring the darkness to light. I don't know what happened, the phone cut off, okay, somebody didn't want this to come out, but again, there's a female, like I said, there's a female that hired a hit, and this female's a ringleader, okay, there's a female ringleader that hired the hit, she wants you getting gone, because she's a narcissist mother, okay, clicked off. Um, this mother, this this hit, this person that hired the hit, or it could be, she could be a hitman too. They could be a female hitman. Um, she has ten plus personalities. Okay, ten plus personalities. Those came out um when it shut off. Okay, she's trying to cause some kind of trauma bond, or she has some kind of trauma bond. She doesn't know how to let go, holding on to this person. So please check out the first reading because it's important. Card just fell. Um, ex friend stalking you, um, driving by all the time. So, this ex friend, ex lover, this is th so in this part one, it said like ex still invest you, that somebody hired a hit. This ex could be with your ex friend, could be in a relationship with your ex friend now, and this ex friend could be stalking you, okay? Or this ex invested in you, stalking you, driving by all the time. Ex friend, ex person. They, like I said, they want you gone. Murder, murder, murder. They just want you dead and gone because they're a sociopath. Peekable energy, dark energy. So they're watching, okay? This person's watching nonstop. Let's get one more. I was almost done with reading as well. Okay, has STD not telling anybody? Somebody has STD. I'm not sure why they came out, but it did. Okay, and those were going to be the last cards I used. So it's going to be really short next video because it cut off. Um, I guess I'll add on to a couple more. What cards do I want to use? I use these quick. I don't know. I think I use these. Maybe. Okay, there's some kind of receipt on this information. This hit. Receipts, proof, show me. Show me. Somebody wants proof that, um, somebody wants proof about the situation that they're dating a hitman or hit woman or they hire somebody. They have some kind of receipts. Oh, receipts. Um, they have some kind of, um, receipts about the payment plan. Okay, how they paid. That they paid this person. To try to take you out. Denial. Not facing the truth. Irrational reasoning. Somebody's not facing the truth about the situation. Somebody doesn't want to believe that this really happened. Or this is really happening. Okay. This person that hired the hit too. Um, they are not in, they're in denial that you are still alive. And they don't understand why you're still alive. And they're not happy with that. And also what I said in the first one is. They're in competition with you. Okay. But you're not in competition with them. You're not even worried about them. You're not even thinking about any of them. Because see, you're recalling yourself, okay? Remembering who you are. Returning to your higher self. When you return to your higher self, you don't, you don't, you don't get distracted with other people. You don't get distracted with drama and crop, drama, uh, karma, all that stuff. You don't, you just, you just do your own thing. Lockdown, mental, physical, prison, confined. See that, yeah. See they're retaliating because they're they're jealous of you, envy of you, in competition of you. So that's why they're retaliating. Um, before the video cut off too, I said that this person that's hired a hit, um, they use all their money to take you out. And if they had more money, they would do it. They would hire another hitman, because that one hitman did not do the job. Okay, they could got caught. Whatever happened, they didn't get the job done. Okay, and this person would, if they had the money, they would hire another hitman to take you out or assassin to take you out because they want you gone. They literally want you dead. And it's not even, they don't want you locked up in jail. They don't want you, like, move states or countries. They want you dead and gone. Like, they want you off this planet, okay? They want you, like, not alive anymore. Yeah, see, they're they're angry, mad, ready to blow up. Pressure cooker, rage, and ready to explode. Okay? Two more. Trash. They're trashy people. Okay? They want to make you look like a trash as well. One more. They non-stop stalking you, okay, watching you, searching for you. That came out in the uh, part one. Just get one more, and then we're going to close this out. See, conversation, interview. You may have some kind of interview. Maybe you're moving away. Maybe you moved away, and you have an interview, a new job. Get on the same page. Meeting, talking. This person, too, that hired the hit, they're non, like, not able to talk like they you can't talk them down okay they're they're setting their ways setting their minds and they no one can talk them out of anything once they started that they won't stop especially if they have 10 personality 10 plus personalities and they're just a sociopath there's no way talking them down okay there's no way talking them out of what they are doing so if they 
if like they didn't do this yet and they're getting ready to hire a hit and they really want to hire this hit and they want to use on the money whatever they want to do there's no way talk him down of like stopping this they're gonna do it no matter what okay they're gonna do it they're gonna find a way to do it no matter what is what i'm hearing they don't give two craps okay as long as you're gone okay they, they think they've protected this person maybe doing some kind of spell work dark magic too keeping a veil like a veil over them so like the authorities can't find them or know about them So, I don't know, this stuff's pretty crazy sometimes, but it's real, you guys. This stuff does really happen. There are people that are on the black web, dark web, that um, get paid to kill people, put hits on people, and hitmans can hit, hit mans or hit women, because I, I, I heard a hit woman, I did hear a hit woman. Um, there's many ways to take somebody out, poisoning somebody, car accident, because that came on the first one, car accident, shooting them. Okay, the easiest way is getting a... a, sh a, a a gun probably a silencer and taking them out okay they're, 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 they're profession but they use other forces as well other ways so some people may not care getting in trouble or getting caught as long as it's their money as long as it's money somebody's out there really smart they thought they were able to Pull this one off but then like again like i said you're walking like you're walking free you're you're free you're you're still alive and they're not happy that you're still alive they're not happy they could be going to jail too um somebody could be going to jail because like here like perjury lying about it okay because lying came out here too been lying okay trying to break up happy homes go watch the first reading guys okay please watch the first one it's gonna be really short we can watch the first one it's part two of it Okay, um, let's see. Close up, thank you. Okay, I'm sure it's better because this came on last reading. I don't feel like that really came on this reading. It said book and boogeyman, okay? If you want to know, it said book and boogeyman, okay? Something about a book. Somebody could be writing a book about this. Okay, same thing about jokes. There was writer journaling. And it said boogeyman. This person could be either boogeyman, okay? This hitman comes in and out, okay? Really super fast. You don't even see this person coming. So maybe it was supposed to come out. But that's what it was. Boogeyman and um, book. books are portals, okay? To other dimensions. Someone could be writing a mystery book too. Or an all tell book or the truth book. That could be why it came out. This person that um, is involved, the sociopath, could be seeing the boogeyman now. Can you just give me a message? One message, please. Oh, it's a one. See? Combination. There's a little bit of good and bad. Something. Combination. Someone needs a combination or a code. Come oh, on. I just feel like it lies a lot. Combination. There's a message in here. Spirit told me to read it out because there's something significant here. Combination, the fly. Oh, yeah, this person's a freaking fly. A nasty little fucker. Flies are nuisance. I, I, if I dislike anything, it's flies. Okay? I don't like cockroaches. Okay? I just don't like them. I don't have them. Um, but flies, I absolutely, absolutely hate. I don't understand why we have flies. We don't need flies. Flies are one thing we don't. They're reptilian. They're, they're spies. They're just, they're nuisance. Okay? They're nuisance. They're maggots. Okay, it's just dirty, and when you see flies, it's a lot of black magic, dark magic, okay? Um, a lot of neg black magic, dark magic, and negative thinking when you see flies. If your ha house is invested in flies, there's some dark magic, black magic, or negative thinking happening. You or somebody you're, you you have in your home, okay? That's what happens. And it, people say you're dirty too, um, dirty, but the nuisance. But right here it says fly. Oh, don't know. Directed by David Kronberg, 1986. Most people would give anything to be turned into something else. I would not want to be turned into a fly. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. In, okay. In our closest relationships, we can sometimes take on each other's habits and quirks, even start to resemble each other without realizing it. This can be for the better or for the worse. Some take comfort in feeling inseparable in the ultimate union. Others find it a little creepy. We will help each other be human. This came out because somebody wanted to be you. 
that's why they're hiring a hitch right there. They want to take your form. They want to take your relationship, okay? They wanted to be you. They didn't realize if they wanted to be you, okay? And look at that. They want to be you. Take your form combination. Wow. We help each other be human. Be afraid. Be very afraid. This person is afraid. They want you to be afraid too. Okay, don't live in fear. This is you. This is them as a monster. Okay? They're they're creepy. They're a monster. They're evil. Wicked. The Woods this is a Blair Witch Project. Okay, we'll read the book too. Okay, the spirit told me to read the book. Oh, you guys, I'm just... I love doing my readings. That's why I do them, but I'm just so exhausted altogether. I'm, 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 I'm drained, you guys. And it's not this. I'm drained, like, in overall everything else. I'm like, I just... There's been a lot going on, and I couldn't even, like, walking yesterday on the water, walking back, like, my legs started giving out, and that hasn't happened in a long time. The Woods, The Blair Witch Project, directed by Daniel Merrick, Merrick and Eduard Sanchez, 1999. It's, like, total, it's, like, a totally flitter, filtered reality. Brilliant. Reliance, oh my gosh, reliance on technology can make it easy for us to overestimate our abilities. It may embody, embolden us to cavalier venture into situations we probably should avoid or have been warned about. Avoid situations, look at, venture into situations we probably should avoid. This person should avoid hiring a hit out on somebody, taking somebody out, or have been warned about it. They've been warned, not do this, don't do this. Um... If such devices fails, if such devices fails us or we kick them away in frustration, we can find ourselves in unfamiliar, unforgiving terror. In this case, we do. In this case, do we focus on the forest or the trees to find our way? In his overall picture, of the forest. The details are the key. Trees. Somebody needs to find their way. Somebody needs to come out of this darkness. Somebody needs to stop competing with you. Stop competing with others, okay? Stop worrying about other people's lives and stop hiring hitmen and stop hiring people to come after somebody or attacking somebody or coming in somebody's relationship and worry about themselves. There's no competition, okay? There's no competition. And that's where you're right here in 3D. And I had to think this too. I was, I was in competition too, okay? I was like, oh my God, I gotta be the best one. I gotta get out there. I gotta make sure. And yes, there's there's computers and competition. Like there's computers and like, there's how many terror readers out there? I don't know. On YouTube, how many tarot readers are out there? Probably at least 100, 200. Is there 500? Maybe 1,000 tarot readers on YouTube. I don't know. And at first when I got here, I wanted to like, I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta be better than that person. I gotta be better. And then Spirit said, stop. Stop it, Jamie. No. You don't need to be better than them. You have your own unique way. You're gonna help other people. You be the best version of yourself. There's no competition there. Do not compete with other people. Okay? You don't need more more subscribers. You don't need more views um, to be better than somebody else. You don't need more of this... Do what you love and you will be provided for. I I, I, I was competing for a long time. I'm, I'm not going to deny it. I was on there like, oh my gosh, I'm not getting any views. I'm not getting any views. Like, I'm not getting any subscribers. What's happening here? Oh my gosh, the person, they just started to have it. You know what I mean? And I'm like, nope, I'm not. I, I literally had to stop and say, okay, spirit is going to give me what I need and want. The universe is going to give me what I need and want. And when, it, when it's the right time. And I stopped looking at how I can change, be better from another reader because and be better than that reader um, because they're unique, they're different, and they're going to have different people that are going to be watching their channel. And I have different people watching my channel that want to learn things, okay? People are in different journeys and stuff. People can explain things differently and perceive things differently. And so Spirit told me that people that are going to be coming to my channel will be coming organically, okay? They'll come organically if they stay. They'll come organically and they'll be guided there. And if they like the readings, they like the messages, they'll stay. They'll subscribe. They'll watch the views. Some of them may not, Spirit told me some of them may not subscribe, but they'll watch the views. And if they're watching it, that's all that matters. Don't worry about the subscribers. So I stopped worrying about the subscribers, but I still have a go. And it's still really nice to see that this subscribers on there. But Spirit told me to stop. Because I can still have, I have 20,000 subscribers, you guys. And you go look, I have 1,000 to 4,000 dollars, 4,000 to 4,000 views. Okay? They're, not even half of that is my subscriber. And so, but... The views are what is actually good. The people that are watching, I'm able to help. Okay, so whoever this person was in competition with you, and I'll say, well, same thing with relationships. Spirit told me to stop being in competition with other men or females. Like, I don't need to have a perfect relationship. It'll be found. I'll, I'll find it when it's meant to happen. And so I stopped competing. I stopped having to try to be better. I stopped trying to 
do drugs to lose weight. I stopped buying expensive clothes and putting my makeup on. Literally, I, I don't wear makeup much anymore, you guys. You saw me with makeup on yesterday. I had makeup on one day. Um, I don't put makeup on anymore. I don't buy expensive clothes. I don't buy fancy clothes. I literally wear sweatpants and a t-shirt most days because I want to be comfy. I don't want tight jeans where my freaking hips hurt, my side hurts, my legs are so tight, whatever. I wear yoga pants once in a while. I don't wear tight shirts. I just, I want to fit comfortably. I just want to be comfortable. And I remember before I had a, it, the clothes didn't fit right. And my, me, I have small hips, you guys. And so my hip, my jeans, even with the belts, they would fall down. And I would have to have them really, really tight on my hips. And then like, they would be like, my stomach would roll over and it was just, it wasn't right. And so I just, I wear comfy clothes. And so what I'm just trying to say is you, there's no reason to be in competition with anybody else. Okay. There's no reason. And for this person to hide or hate on you because they won't, they're in competition with you is stupid. It's stupid. I'm stupid. Witness may, be, may fear coming forward without the information. So if there's a witness that knows about this, they're in fear. Somebody could have threatened them. Saying, hey, if you tell her this, I'm going to take you out too. I'm going to hide or hate on you. The lies, deception, and potential cover-up. Okay, yes, the people lying, trying to cover this shit up. Okay, the victim had a history with the killer. So this person had a history with you. This person that hired a hit on you had a history with you. Okay. They know something about you. I'm hearing you turn them down. And that's what I heard earlier. You turn this person down. Okay, male, female, same sex. This person, same sex. You turn them down. You're done. You, you, you don't, you, you're not into the same sex. Okay, let's close this out. 38. Prefer partnerships, don't like to be alone, right path, continue working on it, elevating life. So somebody likes not being alone, you prefer partnerships, it, it's okay to be alone. Okay, it's okay to be alone. This could be somebody out, this could be the other person too. It's okay to be alone, it's okay to um, elevate your life alone and um, yeah, it's okay. We have 211 coming out. Joy, inner, and outer harmony. You're on the right divine path, going in the right direction, truth from universe, see truth from universe. You're on the right path and that's why they don't want you alive. You're not falling for their bullshit. You're not falling for their, their illusion, okay? Pisces, Gemini, Scorpio, Capricorn, and number nine, closing out cycles. I love you. Love, peace, like, and say.